Perry, always taking it to another level. This is a tough car. I'm really surprised how well it held up. I mean, we were beating and beating and beating on this thing, making very little damage. But, you know, it has its weak spots. The doors can collapse. The car is still going to run fine. We are going to have to encase the engine compartment so that nothing can get in there. We just want to keep those wheels rolling and that engine running. Well, there's four cars we have to reinforce and deal with all the electronics for the remote control and for the biofeedback in 10 days. It's yeah. a lot of work. I think we're going to need some help. Yeah. yeah. Coming up, stripping the junkyard cars proves to be one dirty job. It smells like vomit and gasoline in here. Oh. Perhaps a little too dirty for Dr. Mike. <laughs> the most disgusting things I've ever done. And later, on the eve of the big test, disaster strikes. The whole system went belly up. Will road rage proof cars remain science fiction? Right now it's looking very dark. Road rage is a serious problem. Each year, over 12,000 people nationwide are involved in road rage-related accidents. So the guys at Prototype This are hitting the problem head-on by attempting to build the world's first road rage-proof cars in only 10 days. Cars that will slow down as a driver becomes angry, even shut off as a driver becomes enraged. And they're going to put the prototypes to an extreme test. A demolition derby where road rage is inevitable. Having found vehicles and a new mind control technology to use in the control system, the next step is making the cars safe for the final test. For that, Terry and Mike need some help. Now this may look like your everyday cul-de-sac suburban home, but in fact, this is the home of Mad Mike Doyle. Intergalactic Derby champion of the world. Hey Mike. Hey, how's it going fellas? Good, how you doing? Good, good to see ya. Nice and we got ourselves in a tight spot. We're doing this demolition derby, and we got four cars. We got to get ready. We've come for your help. Okay, well, no problem. I think you're in the right place. I'm doing this since I was 16. I've built over 200 cars out of uh, my little garage here. Jeez. Uh, I think I can do it. And there they are now. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Whoa. What do you think of them? Uh, I think we got our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Station wagon, oh, solid steel. This should really do good. Okay. I think it'll be a great car. So what do we got to do to these puppies to get them ready for a derby? Got to see how they run, make sure the transmission works, get the glass out of there, anything that can be dangerous. And then we'll go ahead and put some safety bars in them, get them set up and ready to roll. Yeah, we got a lot to do. Yep, we do. Ain't that the truth? Stripping a car for a demolition derby is a tough task. Everything that could fall off, drop out, catch fire, leak oil, or just plain break has to go. You didn't say rip it out. It came out. <laughs> Terry is getting impatient. Don't worry. You can't break nothing. <laughs> There's a tremendous amount of work to do on this build. We have four cars that we need to absolutely strip down, make demolition derby ready, put in all the radio controlled equipment to control these things. And uh, if we had two months, we might be able to do it. But we don't have that time. we got to call in an expert. Well, looks like we're going to start pulling some bolts, and I'll start removing the windows out of here. We're going to go around it with the blade first, see if we can cut some of the glue. Whoa, that's cool. Nice. That is so cool. We have a window removal. I'm now going to try to repeat what the master just did. But what's second nature for Mad Mike doesn't come as naturally for Dr. Mike. There you go. Nice. I need a break. <laughs> it looks so easy. Yeah, I made it look easy. Piece of cake. Oh. With Mike and Terry busy stripping for science in the lair, Joe and Zaz are experimenting with the video game controllers that will allow our boys to steer the cars in the demolition derby test from the safety of the sidelines. What we first need to do is control the car using a steering wheel, and this is a steering wheel and pedals from a video game controller. This system that we're working on is going to control a real full-size car, just like the one you drive. But we need to work towards that. We need to do some tests. And uh, just for, for safety and simplicity, we're going to be testing on this little radio-controlled car here. I think it's ready for a test drive. I'm going to put it on the track. It's safety first as Joe dons his helmet. Can you see it? Barely. <laughs> I can definitely control it. And easily navigates the small test track. Excellent. I just want to smash into things. <laughs> So far, so good. 
Joe and Zaza's electronics are able to control a toy car. So, in theory, using the same video game controllers to remotely steer full-size cars should be a Sunday drive. Meanwhile, back at Mad Mike's, Terry and Mike are digging deep. This is like an archaeology project. You get to kind of get a feeling for who owned this car before we got to it. It's it's kind of gross, actually. It's like, it's like the, the kid down the street that has a really nasty room that you never want to go into. This is pretty much it. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really just... Oh, this was a family car. Oh, there's a smell. I know. Oh. Oh! oh. I want rubber gloves. <laughs> That's like really bad mold, soda pop, food, water, foot. <laughs> Was Mike really like hurling? Really? It's like mold and stuff, then you're inhaling it. <laughs> That's up there. It's one of the most disgusting things I've ever done. Oh. What do we do to cure road rage? Coming up. Biofeedback testing gets under Mike's skin. <laughs> and later, the big day arrives and everything goes wrong. You got nothing. All right. Will our prototypes pass the test? It looks like this is our shot at it and we just got to go for it right now. Our team of prototypers is tackling the problem of road rage by attempting to prototype a car that slows down when you're angry and in the future will actually pull off the road when you become enraged. And they're going to put these prototypes to an extreme demolition derby where road rage is inevitable. Having already found and stripped the vehicles for the experiment and with a track booked for the final test in one short week, the cars return to the warehouse. It smells like vomit and gasoline in here. And the guys waste no time marking their